So welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, thanks to my old subscribers, my new subscribers for helping this channel grow. I really appreciate the uh, support, and uh, thank you very much. So anyways, so I dropped the, uh, the geezer glide on the ground. It was one of those things that happened, you know, just kind of lost balance, and you know, just uh, the situation was just right. And I dropped it, you know, I'm not gonna make any excuses, you know, this, that, or what have you. You know, if you've never dropped your bike, well, congratulations. But for the rest of us that have been riding a while, it's one of those things that just happens. But because of that drop, it did save me from a tragedy, and we're gonna get into that right now. I'll explain to you what happened. So I did do a little insignificant damage, you know, the crash guards, you know, they did their job, they took the brunt of everything. So it's got a little scrape in there. And the exhaust pipe's got a little, little minor scratching. It's not really that big a deal. You know, it's just superficial scratches. You hardly even see it when the bike's upright. But this is the hitch of my trailer, or my trailer hitch. And if you see those little, little slots there, I don't know how well you can see those, but those slots there, there's supposed to be bolts in them. And six of them, as a matter of fact. So when I figured out that the bolts were missing out of the trailer hitch, it was about the week before Leesburg Bike Fest. Now, uh, as you guys know, that's my favorite bike fest, and I usually go every year. This year, they kind of watered it down. It was only basically for one day, and I decided to go do something else for the weekend as opposed to going up there. And had I not made that decision, or had I not dropped that bike, uh, I would probably never even notice those bolts be missing out of the trailer hitch. I literally got, you know, a 500 pound trailer being held on by saddlebag subframes. I, I mean, in a way, it sucks that I dropped the bike. Had it not happened, I never would have known. And so in a way, I guess I'm kind of glad it happened, even though I suffered a little bit of damage. Let's start taking this thing apart so that way we can see, um, you know, what's going on and how this thing's built. It's not really a big job. Putting the hitch on was actually very simple. Uh, initially when I did it, I didn't have my YouTube channel when I, put that on there so I never did film it but in this case now I get a chance to take it apart you can kind of see how this thing's constructed so what you got here is two five millimeter allen head screws one there and one there and right up underneath where the plate light is there you go you can see it there's a bolt right there on each side, there's two 10 millimeter bolts in the saddlebags, which is gonna allow us to remove that taillight assembly, which is gonna give us a little bit more room to work with. I mean, I could go ahead and install the bolts now the way it is with all this stuff, but I just wanna show you guys how this thing's built so you get a better idea.
so you got a couple C clamps here on the bottom and then you got a couple at the top and what those C clamps do they just wrap around the subframe and this is like your main plate here for your uh, trailer hitch so if you look see how that's it built and I know it's gonna be hard to see here and I'm gonna do the best but if you can see there oh it's the best light I can get in there it's real hard to see but there's two uh two flat plates that are connected to rods and that's where the bolts go through and these rods here and I'm going to show you how this works Just bear with me here so those rods go from underneath there up over the exhaust and they come back to right here which is right here where the the, the um, engine guard is so in order to mount that you have to pull the floorboards off and then you got your bolts for your you got your bolts for your engine guard you take those out and then there's the, this piece here it's really hard to see because all the stuff's in the way but this actually bolts in and wraps around the uh the engine guard itself so this is not coming off unless your engine guard comes off and then the rods that connect to the main part of the trailer hitch bolt on right there so you get a little plate here and then these two rods come back all the way back to there and then they have a flat plate and that's where your, your main part of your hitch uh, connects to the, re the rest of the supports so before I install the new bolts you know I'm just gonna throw in a little thread locker uh, this doesn't seem to be focusing very well for some reason uh, but definitely put some thread locker on there and we'll reinstall the bolts so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this punch to line up the holes a little bit it's not that bad but it's enough to, you know, make it an inconvenience. So I'm just going to drop that bolt through the hole best I can here. And... Replacing that stuff was pretty easy, not a big deal. Uh, so you guys that already have trailer hitches on your bikes, uh, now might be a good time just to check out your equipment, make sure everything's tight. Don't make the mistake that I did and you know assume that everything's good and solid. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody being here. Ride safe, and we'll see you next time.